So welcome to a series of lessons in basic algebra. In today's class, we shall discuss one thing that is associated with algebra and that is solving equations. And today we'll particularly be concerned with solving irrational equations where you have to be just a little careful before you narrow down on the solution of the equation. We will look at the simplest type which could be of this form where you have this is equal to square root of another function. Alternatively, we can have a standard irrational equation of this type So, we will discuss both of these possibilities with suitable examples. So, the first thing we note is that um, this is the same as solving f the following set of conditions. And we have to ensure, as you can see, that f of x should be positive. Alternatively, we can also achieve the conditions of the problem by solving these set of two conditions. Either one of these should be okay. So, either this or this, if you satisfy and find the values of x, there will be a solution to the problem. Now, the only thing that we would like to say is that one of these may be easier to solve. So, you could choose the one that suits you best. So, let's focus on examples of this type and then we'll get back to this discussion after solving one example of this type. So, this is fairly easy to illustrate. Let's straight away get to the example. So, you can easily see that satisfying the condition f of x equal to g of x is the same as x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 2x square minus 2 which is the same as uh, x square plus x minus 1 equals to 0 and which means that x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac that is 5 divided by 2. So we have two possibilities either x1 is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 by 2 or x is equal to minus 1 minus root 5 by 2. Now the condition that uh, we will perhaps choose to verify that g of x in this case is greater than 0. So, let's try to satisfy g of x is greater than 0 which is the same thing as x square is greater than 1. Now, you can see that x1 will not be able to satisfy I think because we know that uh, root 5 is approximately equal to 2.23 and then this would come to 1.23 by 2 clearly less than 1 so the square was not going to be greater than 1 which means that um, we can forget about x1 and x2 now is clearly less than minus 1 and that would mean that x2 square is definitely greater than or equal to 1. So, it does satisfy this condition and therefore, the answer for this problem is x2. So, this was easy. Now, let's get to the second kind of irrational equation that we have said we will consider in this lesson. So, what are the equivalent conditions to be satisfied? So, the equation is of this form root of f of x is equal to g of x. Now, this is the same as 
f of x is equal to the square of g of x and we have to ensure that g of x is positive or greater than 0 because the equation clearly says that g of x is the positive square root of f of x. Now, one small note that we'll make here is you shouldn't try, no need, no need to verify that f of x is greater than or equal to 0 because when trying to satisfy the condition 1, you are automatically satisfying this condition. So, with this note, uh, let us solve uh, two problems and uh, they are very similar but there is something that we can highlight in the second problem, second example that we have chosen. So, let's start with the easy one first and then we will solve a similar example as the final example of this lesson and there is a reason for considering another similar problem. So, as discussed, what we need to solve here is f of x is g square x which is the same as 3x square minus x minus 2 equals to x square minus 2x plus 1 which is the same as 2x square plus x minus 3 equal to 0 and you will see that this is very easy to factorize and solve for x. We shall do this presently. So, we have managed to factorize this pretty easily and that would mean that um, x is either 1 or x is equal to minus 3 by 2. These are the candidate solutions. So, we just write it here either x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 3 by 2 and or. Now, however, we have to satisfy another condition and which is that g of x is greater than or equal to 0 and that would mean that x is greater than or equal to 1 and clearly only the first condition, first solution satisfies the second condition. So, this is the answer for this problem. So, now let's shift to the last problem of the lesson, which is very similar, but it gives us a chance to sh share a very neat trick. So, let's get started. As always, f of x is equal to g square of x and that would mean 3x square minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 4x square plus 4x plus 1 and um, the quadratic is x square plus 6x plus 2 is equal to 0 which is so x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus root of b square 36 minus 4ac that is 8 over 2 that is equal to minus 6 plus or minus 2 root 7 divided by 2. So, the two candidates for us are x1 is equal to minus 3 plus root 7 or x2 is equal to minus 3 minus root 7. Now, at this stage, we are going to give you two approaches to decide which of these satisfies the second necessary condition which is that g of x is strictly positive. So, since I will require some space for this, I shall erase what we don't um, need right now, but I will definitely need to refer to this quadratic equation when I share the trick that is promised. So, we will keep that quadratic equation here. So, the first part is as before. Uh, we try to verify that g 
of x is strictly greater than 0 that would mean that x is strictly great uh, sorry x is greater than or equal to minus half so which one of these is greater than minus half well definitely not x2 so x1 is most probably going to satisfy the condition so let's verify that so minus 3 plus root 7 is definitely greater than minus 3 plus root of 6.25 and that is equal to minus 3 plus 2.5 and that is equal to minus 0 0.5 so x1 is definitely greater than minus 0 0.5 and we have satisfied this condition and therefore x1 is the answer to this problem we can also check that x1 is an answer to the problem in a slightly different way by straight away plugging into this quadratic equation and also using our knowledge of quadratic equations so let's plug this value which is minus half into this quadratic equation so what is let's just call it something let's call it function and what is f of minus half that is equal to minus half square plus 6 into minus half plus 2 and that is equal to 1 by 4 minus 3 plus 2 which clearly is less than strictly less than 0 now this would mean that minus half lies between the two roots here because the quadratic equation is negative in between the values of x in between the two roots and that would also mean then that x1 which is the bigger root x1 is clearly greater than x2 here so the bigger root does satisfy the condition of the problem and once again we have checked that the answer to this problem is x1 so with that we come to our first discussion on irrational equations